So it's time to uh, get some paint on our fabulous Christmas bauble and uh, drawing is already complete. Nice, simple, easy drawing, dot and dash method and Big Brian is on the scene. He's going to be our first brush, our large round brush there. Just got a little bit of water on Big Brian, always make sure your brushes are nice and clean before you start. I'm just going to drop some easy water within the uh, bauble area. Place it on. You'll notice it's not completely full. Could just rose opera. It's going to be our first colour. We're going to dive in with that. Just dropping it into the water. So we've got a mix of liquid paint and water already on the surface there. Not completely covering it, look. Just floating around. Nice and easy application. And Big Brian is the guy for that. Oversized brush will get the paint on a lot quicker than 10 visits with a tiny brush. So go for the big brush. Cab red now. Oh, look at that swoop across the centre there. But leaving, you notice, leaving a few little gaps. They are important. They catch the light and allow for a glow effect just to appear. So we're not using masking fluid and we're not lifting off afterwards. Cadmium orange now, again, dexterity of Big Brian, we can get some little line work in there quite nicely. And again, look how it all bleeds together. So we're working flat. It may look tilted on the screen, but no, I'm working dead flat. And that stops all of that liquid paint from running to the bottom of the uh, painting. Still blending. See the three strands of colour there. We've got Rose Opera, Cad Red and uh, Cad Orange. All good friends, but all give you that uh, ability to build up the contour of the bauble. Let's get a little bit of the uh, the branch on now, Christmas branch. Starting off still with Big Brian. Big Brian is working his socks off today. A little bit of water, just dabbed on. Using the tip there to get a little bit more refinement with where we're placing it, but it's just fairly ad hoc. Lemon yellow to start off with. And that's the magic of it. You just touch the surface and it jumps along those corridors and rivers of water. Sap green now. Again, drawing the brush back towards the thicker end of the branch. We're not being fiddly there, we're just moving that along, keeping the painting moving. Cerulean blue. Just scooting down there. Again, bleeding in nicely. So, Big Brian's one of the uh, loose gang that you may have heard about. If not, you just have. And Mini Dave is his little cousin. There he is. Small dagger brush. Just got a bit of water on Mini Dave there, and it's just flicking and wisping this through the liquid paint just to allow a little bit more control but not too much we don't want to overly control this and mini dave small dagger brush second of the loose gang so whichever brush you're using 
see if it's working for you, see if it does the job. And if uh, you like some loose gang brushes, just drop over to the uh, loosewatercolors.com store. We've got them in stock there. If not, I'll get you some, I'll make some more in my shed send them out so they're great brushes I use these all the time and they really do work to help you get loose in your uh, painting style in your loose approach bit of purple now just throwing this on again just notice how that uh, the liquid bleeds together I'm not moving the brushes about in the paint too much because that will actually send the colours to be a little bit murky so we can still keep these really nice clean colours without moving the brush tissue time, a bit scrunched up lifting off the excess uh, paint that we don't need so again it's better actually just to hold the bit of tissue in place rather than uh, move it about and drag it about or try and lift off with the brush at this stage Mini day, a little bit of clean water, just drop this into the connecting part of the bauble with uh, lemon yellow, just tapping it on because the water, as before, will allow that to uh, float and drift them out. Indian red, Indian red, really a sort of browny, light brown red. Just tapping that on. And look at that nice bit bleeding just into the branch. And don't get concerned, that's a good thing. That just gets that uh, effortless flow of paint. And it's sort of a reflective glow in the surroundings. Cobalt blue now. We need some way of attaching this bauble to the to the branch, a little bit of cobalt blue. Again, tapping it. Don't be worried when it starts to bleed. That's what we're after. That is what we're after. Fabulous, fabulous. Look at that. So now it's a little bit of splatter time. Yeah, splatterfication with Miss Rigger. So she's a great brush for this. The bristles on Miss Rigger, Rigger very uh, springy. And also, uh, it's quite a wide width at the end of the brush. It's one of my special brushes I had put together by the guys and uh, works really well. So here we go, a bit of splatter. What are we gonna do? Put your finger just close to the surface, tap, and off it goes. There you go, your sap green just landing. They are easily done. I'm just changing this round because of the angle of the uh, camera. You can turn your paper around quite easily, that's a better way to do it. But like I say, I can't do that because the bauble will be upside down. Splatter just flowing there, nice and easy. Let's get a little bit of rose opera on as well, a bit of splatter at the bottom. Yeah, just tap that on. Gives a nice sort of flowing effect. Yeah, and quite easy. A bit of cat orange there. Even the way it just bounces onto the bauble, gives that nice little blast effect. Now, a bit of water on Miss Rigger. Yeah, and what we're going to do is just waft this across the bauble. I do a few practice strokes before, i.e. just to get the movement. So we do that above the paint, we're going to just dive on and do it once. A few practice strokes, and even better, before you do this, practice on a separate piece of paper. This just gives a little bit of suggestion of movement. Yeah, swirling. You know, like when you're dancing, 
Swirl round, well this is exactly the same. Quick swirl and back, perfect. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So below the centre of the bauble we take the swirl slightly bent lower in the centre and above the centre we go the other way. So it's not all the same angle. And while we're there we just drag a little bit of water through the splatter and this again just gives that movement nice easy feeling of movement along the bauble and beyond. A little bit of perylene green now on Miss Rigger just again flicked through the tree or the branch of the tree still wet after all this time. Ten minutes is uh, about right it gets drier as you go with time and just little, little light loose flicks what a great little brush she is used all the time even sometimes put uh, some spread on my uh, sandwiches with Miss Rigger only kidding folks I wouldn't try that at home so fabulous so well done guys this is a beautiful one now if you want to join me for lots more tutorials drop on to loosewatercolors.com there's a click link below and you'll be able to enjoy hundreds more and really get loose in your style so thanks for joining me and i'll see you again very very soon